in the burn scenario for Terra Classic, Binance getting involved has been a major piece that we needed, right? And so this number grabbed my attention. Terra Classic burn rate spike, 176,084% daily in a day as total burns have suppressed 18 billion total. Now, you might say, Austin, that's not a big number. Hey, I get it, okay? If you look at kind of the current state of the union of the total burn scenario, it's right here. Uh, and I use Lunk Penguins for this. Uh, you know, Binance has only been burning for two weeks now, uh, and we've got 8.6 billion burned from them. And most likely, Binance will be the leader in in this burn scenario because there is a because of the daily volume that flows through the Binance exchange. It is the leader. They control about 40% of the um, Terra Luna Classic to Fiat transactions okay and uh yeah and it's 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 significant now burns are always i'm going to remind you of this burns are always a function of volume okay and so if you look at terra classic right here right now uh the volume the daily volume let me show this to you yeah is about 595 million which actually has picked up dramatically from say the last 48 hours but burns are a function of volume both on chain as well as on the exchanges, so you need to be aware of that. So when we get back into more bullish times, uh, again, you know, burns will pick up and we will start to see more. Okay, but now back to this percentage, this 176,000, that's crazy. So that's according to Luna Burn Tracker right here. Uh, daily burn stats for Monday, October 10th, uh, that was uh, 3 billion plus burned uh, right there, 818,000 worth. That is 176,084% increase crazy, crazy number. Uh, and a total burn uh, is since kind of the burning initiatives at start of 18.12 billion Luna Classics burned. Again, this is an aggregate, right? Remember, burns are a compounding scenario. They will add up over time. And they are also a function of volume because the 1.2% uh, burn tax is directly related to the number of transactions that are flowing on a given daily scenario. Okay. And so Again, just making you aware of that. So again, let's look real quickly at kind of the Terra Classic price point standpoint. It's down about six percent. This is not this is not really hugely surprising to me. Everything is down right now, okay, because of the overall market conditions that we've got. Yes, Austin, you talk about this in every video. I do because this is relevant in every video. Right now, we've got an event out there 48 hours from now on uh, October 13th, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index Inflation Data Report comes out. The entire market is down because I think, quite frankly, the overall market expects this to not be great. And you can, you can even look on, this, on the stock side. Austin, I don't care about stocks. Well, in a way, you kind of should because stocks and crypto, you can see right here, stocks and crypto are basically you know, basically locked together right here, right now because of inflation and all this. And so, and so yes, Terra Luna Classic is being impacted by this because it is a top 32 number crypto. It's in the top 100 now and it moves with this. And so you've got a little bit of fear where, where I'm calling it outflows, right? You got, you got outflow, you got outflow money going out. People are afraid that this inflation report that we're going to get in two days is going to be pretty, pretty bad. So you kind of got people jumping off the proverbial ship, right? They think that the ship's going to catch on fire. Hey, this is what it is, okay? And we had Bitcoin drop below 19,000 today, Ethereum on its way to 1,000. I have said this in many, many videos. I think that we've got more downward room to go here. I mean, we're still inflation. We've got, we're still, uh, technically we're in a recession. We've had two quarters of declining GDP, uh, you know, uh, growth, all those kind of things. So the, the, the bottom line here is that Terra Classic is moving along with the overall market conditions as we speak right now. I mean, Shiba Inu, look, Shiba Inu is down five plus percent. And they're all, everything is down. Polygon's down for, you know, almost 5%. Uh, XRP's down, Cardano's down. They're all down kind of the similar five to 6% range. That's what I got for you right here, right now. As always, thanks. I will see you. Take care.